I don't know what I did wrong. I thought it was going so well. Yeah, you know, apart from the prison thing. She won't even talk to me. I messed it up. Oh, don't blame yourself. Maybe she just, you know, got shanked in the shower. <laughs> Thanks for trying to make me feel better, Marv, but I don't think that's it. And this isn't helping either. What? You know what. Would it help if we swapped? No, no, definitely not. Who is this guy? I don't know, but I like it. I don't like this one. Yeah, well, it's my favourite, so we're sticking with it. I think he's just upset because his relationship came to a sudden bitter end. No, I'm not upset because my relationship came to a sudden bitter end. She's just pulling away, that's all. <sighs> I just, I really, really do know how you feel. Because, you know, I had this cat once. Oh, good. And, um, you know, he just started getting really, you know, distant, going out all hours, coming home late, smelling different. And, um, yeah, it turns out he was just going down the road to this old lady's house, getting double dinners. <laughs> in the end, he just lost all interest in my beefy chunks and gravy. <laughs> what are you suggesting, Marv? Pussy's got needs, Jack. If only Emma wasn't behind all those locks and bars and guards and maximum security, you could just talk to her. That's not helping, Dean. I know what you need. Someone on the inside. Hello. I've come to turn myself in. Uh, I'm sorry? She's done some crime. Yep, I need to be incarcerated. I'm a threat to society. I put a guy down. What? I murked him. Good and proper. Love, that's like a life sentence. Think oh, smaller. I didn't murk him. Um, it was more attempted murk. Rain it in. I pushed a guy really hard. I didn't push him, actually. We, I was very, very rude to him in the cafe. I'm a monster. Bought me up. <laughs> if, if you want to confess a crime, you should go to a police station. Touching. Sorry. That's inappropriate. Um, I just want to go to prison. But now, but not for too long. Yeah, is there a crime that'll just like get her in there for the afternoon or something? Uh, look, ladies, I, I don't have the authority to lock you up. I'm not even a guard. I am just a laundry attendant. Okay, hold on a minute. What's that word? What's that little word? Just. What's that doing in there? Let's delete that. Delete, 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 delete. You are not just a laundry attendant, Nigel. You're guarding this laundry. Guarding laundry. And you are doing a bang up job. <laughs> Well, hello. I like this. I feel powerful. Um, Jack, a bit of a problem. Come on. Call this dirtbag trying to escape. It's a step aside. Let's get him back in the stir where he belongs. All right. Just one thing. This is a women's prison. Segregation? In this day and age? It's not very progressive, is it? Well, no male prisoners, them's, them's the rules. How dare you? Assuming someone's gender. How do you know how I identify? Uh, fair enough. <laughs> how do you identify? Not the point. The point is you assumed. Hang on. Are you saying that if he, if she, identified as female, then You'd let us pass. Jack, gender identification is not about getting into places you shouldn't be. Don't rule it out. Typical. Straight male gatekeepers locking out anyone who doesn't fit their binary view of the world. We've got a long way to go. <clears throat> What's going on here? We were just discussing the many shades of the gender spectrum. Phone call for you, Ted. I'll take care of these two. <sighs> Have fun. He's with me. What are you trying to pull? Do you have any idea how much bother you're getting yourselves into? I need to see Emma. Do you love her? Well, I mean, it's early days, so I don't know if I can really say... Then go to her. <laughs> Mum, listen. It's not my place to say. But she's had another gentleman visit her. They seemed... close. What 
was that about? Shh. Does he ship you and Emma? Shut up. I bet he's written a really nasty fan fiction. later. One more year, love. Get the keys. Coming in. Yes. Five across, that's wrong. I can't be seen with you. Who is he? Jack. She's waking up. Quick! Someone else? I'd rather you just told me. There is no one else. Of course there isn't. Who's cheating on this? No one. We're in danger, Jack. Someone thinks I've got the money. They know you're my boyfriend. So I am your boyfriend. Because Dean keeps Jack, saying. He's dangerous. Who is? Paul. First, it was just emails, but then he showed up here. Said he'd put you down if I didn't tell him where the money was. So that's why I cut you off. I had to make him think that I didn't care about you. Wow. <laughs> Who's Paul? You know 
Paul didn't turn up to the bank robbery. Dean pretended to be him for a bit. A little bit of a homophobe. Oh, how dangerous can he be? He's a white man with a deflated ego. There is literally nothing more dangerous. We have to find the money. Ah. Uh, I might be able to help with that. I've got the money. Tenemos que abordar esto. Ah, five across. I don't think that's right. Spell it like that anyway. Oh. Oh. Didn't know you spoke Spanish. Yeah, well, we've all got secrets, Jack. Hey, at least I didn't just stop talking to you. That hurt. I hurt you to protect you. That's romantic. <clears throat> Read a young adult novel. Um, I just broke into prison so that we could talk about our relationship. Yeah, well, that's probably the most romantic thing anyone's ever done for me. Of course it is, because I care about you. Not as much as I care about you. Turn it. Don't you dare. Put it somewhere safe. It is safe. It's in a locker. <laughs> what, you mean like one of those you put a pound coin in? <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Jack. You're gonna get that bag out of that locker and put it in a safety deposit box. I'm gonna do my time like a good girl. You and the money better be waiting for me when I get out. doing? Oh, uh, sorry. I uh, just thought, uh, <laughs> you know. Shawshank Redemption? Not seen it. Can you put my poster back, please? Oh, this. That's right. Like that? Yeah. Dean, we have to leave! <gasps> Let's get out of here! Slight problem. No sign of them. Thank God for cishet males making assumptions about gender based solely on appearance. Hey, Jane? Don, I'm not in the mood. Well, what are we going to do? I can't walk out dressed like an inmate. No way. And you can't walk out dressed like a guard. Why? Quite good legs, hasn't he? Well, Which is surprisingly good. Right, we should probably get our story straight. Okay, well, if anyone asks, we broke into a prison, you dressed up as a guard. No, obviously, we're not going to say that. It's the exact opposite of what we should say. Hello, boys. Do you need a lift? 